What's up, people? So, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be another quick tutorial of Adobe Illustrator and EasyCAD 2. So, my friends over at Subcon Tactical, they do Kydex holsters. Um, they wanted somebody local to engrave their Anubis logo, and they're going to offer them for sale on their uh, Plus 5 mag extensions. And you can see here on their website, they had somebody do one uh, ways back, and this is, I believe, is personal uh, plus five uh, mag, mag extension. And so they reached out to me and asked me if I could do it. So I told them, yeah, sure, you're usually anodized. It should come out nice and clean. I told them, hey, you know, send me over the artwork. And it's always nice when somebody's got artwork that's really almost ready to run. Uh, unfortunately, with uh, laser engraving, artwork that's good for print is not always good for laser engraving. So what did they send me? What they sent me over was an AI file, which was convenient. AI files are already vector files, so it's not like a bitmap or a JPEG that I had to vectorize. But it still needed a little bit of work. So what did I have to do? Well, like the other ones, after we do a vector, we need just outlines. We don't need the fills. We don't need the colors. We just need a closed loop so that we can have the, laser, the EasyCAD 2 software give us a hatch pattern. So we're going to do is make believe we this if this was a bitmap and we traced it we would be basically back down to this where we had uh sections of artwork that were um vectors. Okay? So we're just going to take the whole thing. We're going to go over here for the fill hold the shift key click on that we're going to get rid of all the fill and then we're going to go over to the stroke and we're going to get the stroke of color we're going to reduce the stroke and then what we're going to do is actually it looks pretty good now i already know that there's going to be a problem with this artwork because you can see here this is a little bit darker than the rest of this these are stacked vectors so there's multiple layers in here and that's because you have, you know, different colors and each color has its own border. But I'm going to leave it like this for now because I want you to see what happens in EasyCAD 2 when you have overlapping or stacked vectors. So again, EasyCAD 2 will take an AI file if you save it to a prior version. So we're going to save as. I already saved this, so I'm going to overwrite this so you can see the pop-up. Over here, your version. You're going to back this down to Illustrator 3 and click OK. Okay, so once you have that saved, we're pretty much done here. And there we go. All right, so EasyCAD 2. Yeah, I know, it's the demo version because I'm in the office. Okay, File. If I can get my mouse to work, File, Import Vectors. Find your AI file. And if you don't see this preview, there's a show preview here. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, some files won't show you a uh, preview unless you have this ticked. Uh, well, let's put this to the center. DX file unit is in inches. I don't know. I think it is. Open. Cannot open vector. Okay. They grabbed the wrong one. Factor file number three. Open. There we go. Okay. So, one, let's make this some reasonable size. This is a lot bigger than what the actual engraving is. But we don't want this outside border, and this is all grouped. Okay, so we got to ungroup all this. So let's go over here to edit, ungroup. And then we can pick just this outside square and delete it and watch what happens. There's another one underneath. So let's delete that one too. So at this point, you think you're ready to go. You select the whole thing and you go to put a hatch pattern in there. Let's check this out real quick. 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. And we did the first one I did was a zigzag. And I'm going to show you the issue with that. And click OK. Now, what happened? So we lost the eyeball and we lost the letter S. Why? Well, 
normally when you see something like that or you see stray lines, it's usually because there's overlapping or stacked vectors. So let's delete this. So I know where they are, but I want you to see something. Now you can't really see it in here, but in Adobe Illustrator, you can see that this is darker than the rest of it. That's where you have your stacked vectors. So let's go here and let's pick that one and delete it. The next one in, delete it. The middle one, delete it. The Oh, that was one. The S, let's delete the S. Now the eyes, there was two on the eyes, so we'll delete the outside one and the inside one. Now just to make sure, you can delete the outside one again, and if it disappears, Control Z will bring it back. Now let's select the whole thing, click the hatch pattern, and that looks much better. So now we have everything back. And there's another stray vector there. So we gotta get rid of that too. So that, I don't know what that is. Uh, I didn't see that on the other file that I made, so I'm not going to worry about it. So, there's your logo. Now, the hatch pattern. So, here's the problem. On a final product, you want the engraving to be super, super clean. And with the hatch pattern, with the zigzag, here's the problem. Let me show you a picture. So... See this vertical line here? There's a horizontal line over here. So another vertical line in here. That's because we're using the zigzag hatch pattern. And what happens is it can't clean all the surface in one pass. It's got to break it into sections. So if I stop it there, you see this line here? That's where it broke the pattern. There's another one here, and there's a vertical one here. So this didn't look real good. So I tried another hatch pattern. The other hatch pattern that I tried was one way. So we did this pattern where it's only cutting horizontal. It's not trying to cut vertical. And that seemed to work out okay until I looked at the artwork under magnification and I found I had overlapping images. So this happens when your timing is off. So the horizontal pattern doesn't match up with the vertical pattern. And that is because the timing mark, the timing setting on the laser on and off time is not right. So originally, this is the demo, so it, this won't let me save the settings. So originally my settings were negative 50, 150, 300, and I believe it was 300 also. The, the polygon is for something else. So in order to get rid of that, what I did had to do is I actually had to bring this back up to 8. And then the end cut time, I had to bring up to 150. No, I'm sorry, that was still 300. And I dumped this one down to 150 because of another reason. So once I had that done, I did this multiple times to get this dialed in. So the problem with uh, the hatch pattern and having it off, when you make this artwork smaller, the problem becomes compounded. So where you're supposed to have this black line here, it's completely gone here because it's washed out. It's over, it's overlapped so bad you've lost all the detail in it. So lesson learned long time ago, don't, don't, don't engrave the customer's final product until after you've done some scrap and have actually tested it to make sure that, you know, that it's clean. And when I say scrap, I mean, you know, a lot of scrap until you get the artwork that it comes out right. And this was, this was the final run. And you can see it does the whole section all at one time. 
that doesn't break any of the fills to, to leave any lines. The problem with this is the timing has got to be really spot on. Otherwise, you get that double image. I won't bore you with the rest of that. Uh, but you'll see... Oh, I closed all the pictures. Anyway. Uh, where's the picture? There we go. So... Final picture. The engraving is nice and clean. It's smooth. There's no interrupted lines. And there's no overlap. So, uh, thank you for Subcon Tactical for allowing me to use this as a quick tutorial. Uh, I'm pretty sure some people might have other questions. Uh, they are selling the plus fives. Uh, go to subcontact.com. I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, I know this wasn't too detailed of a video. I didn't want it to be too long. Um, don't call me and ask me to do this logo on your stuff. This is their logo. I will not do that. And also, if you have your own logo you would like me to do, I will do that too. And I will not do it for anybody else. So your logo is your logo. You paid for it. That's your thing. That's your brand. Anybody wants this, you need to go to subcontact get you a plus five mag extension and have fun at the range thanks for watching again comments uh, in the comments below and i'll catch you later bye